Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. So, last time in a very unexpected we've all an episode, we went through Traverse Town again, so now we get to move on to the next world. And what's cool in Chain of Memories is much like in Kingdom Hearts 1, you get to choose which world you want to do. So we have five worlds to choose from. We've got Agrabah, Olympus Coliseum, Wonderland, Monstro, and Halloween Town. All of these worlds we saw in Kingdom Hearts 1. The nice thing is, unlike Kingdom Hearts 1, where it's like, oh yeah, you could go to this world first, but then you'll get your butt kicked if you do, the difficulty scales according to which order you do these in. So, whichever one you do first is going to have a smaller world map as well as easier enemies. And then, as you progress on, the maps get bigger and then the enemies get more HP. So, which one you want to do first really depends on a few things. Number one, every world you go to will have a special treasure chest in it, which will usually contain a unique slate. So that can factor into uh, which one you want to do first, as well as the enemy card you get for the boss of the world, and just overall cards you can potentially get in the world. So I'm looking through these. I normally start with Agrabah, but Agrabah is one of those ones where I'd be okay doing it later when there are more enemies. I think I'm going to start with Monstro, because Monstro can be very annoying if you leave it alone for a while, and the slate you get in here is very useful. Let's go to Monstro. What a weird place! Everything's kind of sprainy and soft. Nice and warm, too! I'm starting to feel like a nap. Shouldn't you be a little more worried? Who's there? Don't you get it? You're inside the belly of Monstro the Whale. Why, I know that voice. Pinocchio? Pinocchio, it's you! Come on out! I can't do a Pinocchio voice, really. Is that you, Jiminy? Gosh, I never thought I'd meet you here. You can't get away from me, son. I'm your conscience. Your conscience should guide whatever you do, remember? Sure, Jiminy. I've been a good boy while you were gone. I didn't tell a single lie. Uh-oh! Well, for Pete's sake! Ironically, there's only one part of the movie where Pinocchio's nose actually grows longer. Oops! But how did you end up inside Monstro anyway? We, uh, sort of used a special way. It's so special, we don't know how we did it! That's too bad. I was hoping you could help me and Father get out of here. Well, I'll be! Geppetto's here too? Sure! Wanna see him? Follow me! Oh boy. And we get the key of beginnings, which we'll get at the start of every world. Welcome to the dreary monstro. Everything's a giant maze. So yeah, welcome to monstro. So, these are air soldiers. They have re relatively high-valued attack cards, so that can be a bit irritating. These are search ghosts, so they can teleport around. Which is not ideal. Alright, I gotta unequip Simba, I think. Because Simba really doesn't do me any good at all. Well, let's see what he does. Oh yeah, I forgot. These guys, these are actually unique enemies to uh, Chain of Memories. They weren't in Kingdom Hearts 1 at all. These are Tornado Steps. They return in future Kingdom Hearts games, but this is actually the first time they appear. One of the only unique enemies in this uh, that was not in Kingdom Hearts 1. I do like the monstro music. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove some of these cards. So I'm going to start by removing Simba, because he doesn't do me very much good. I'm also going to remove my one card. I'm going to equip my eight-valued Kingdom Key, as well as my fire. And let's see. Oh yeah, we get the guard, we got the guard armor card last time. That slightly extends the range of attack cards, so it gives you like a little bit more range with your Keyblade. It's not very good. I'm going to equip Red Nocturne. And can I equip Potion as well? No, I can't. I only need one Potion anyways. Well... Nope, can't quite equip Simba. I'm also going to spread my zero cards out a bit. That looks good. Darn it, I am terrible getting the first strike, apparently. Did 
Despite what people say, I love the GBA version of the soundtrack. So fire, it's hard to hit multiple enemies with it, but it tends to home in on one enemy, which is nice. It's also useful for first slate we're going to learn uh, in this world. Ouch. Ouch. Get out of here. Tornado steps have high-valued cards, which is actually much higher than you would expect for the uh, starter world. Nice. Nice! Donald fired two veins of fire out. Ooh, and we get a level 9 alchemic waking. That's nice. Let's learn a new slate. Stun impact. Stun surrounding enemies with a single attack. Uh, to do that, you need a slate. Uh, you stock free card. Attack cards of the same type. The total value is 20 to 23. Again, not a very good slate, but we gotta learn these starter slates in order to get the better slates later on. And also, if we had learned Sliding Dash, like, immediately from our first level up, we would have had to wait a few level ups to in order to learn Stun Impact. It just so happens that this time it worked out that we get leveled up right now. Aww. Blizzard is... Actually, Magic in general is much, much better in this than it was in the original Kingdom Hearts. Original Kingdom Hearts, uh, Thunder, Fundaga was pretty good, and Kiriga and Arrow were pretty good. But in this, it's like, fire's good, blizzard's good, pretty much all of it's good. Except gravity. Gravity still stinks. Come on, Donald, deal with him. Yeah! Alright, Donald, deal with him again. Thank you, Donald. <laughs> Donald's actually pretty good in this. Unlike in Kid Hearts 1, where he rarely heals you. The problem is you don't want to use Donald Duck against an enemy that gets healed by certain types of magic, because he will pretty much always cast that type of magic. Oftentimes, twice! Also, the first room in a world will always be just like a normal room. Like, average size, average amounts of enemies, nothing special in terms of gimmicks. Oh no, he broke my potion right before the effect actually took place. Nice! <laughs> Another level up. Two level ups in the first room. Ooh! Free Goofy cards. That gives us Goofy Tornado, where he spins around us and we can move around with him. Yes! That's what I was waiting for. Calm Bounty. That gives us a treasure chest in the world. Alright. Leveling up CP again. I don't really need more HP at this point. Moogle points. Pick up the Moogle points before engaging in a battle, otherwise they will disappear. Oh, these are large bodies. They're even more annoying to deal with in this than they were in the original, because you literally have to hit them directly in the back. Hitting them in the head or in the side won't work. Stun impact. Let's show this off. So that only deals very light damage, so I'm actually not a huge fan of that one, but it looks super sweet. Nice, Donald! Man, Donald's really good. Alright, cool. All the enemies in the room have been dealt with. Ooh, crown room already? And that's the key to the beginning's room? Sweet! Ooh, a cure. Getting up extra cures is always nice. Man, we got two crown doors right from the get-go. Which one's this? Okay, that's the last one. That's key of truth. Well... We need a green card. How many? We have one alchemic waking. We've got a few meeting grounds. All right. So because you see the green outline with G up there, we need a green card. Using a red card won't work. So let's use our lowest value meeting ground, followed by the key to beginnings. It's Geppetto, one of the only likable characters from Pinocchio. Geppetto. 
Bless my soul, it's Jiminy Cricket. How in the world did you get here? You tell me, how does a clockmaker wind up at the belly of a whale? Well, it's a long story, but I have the VHS with me here. Watch it. Wow, that was a really creepy movie! So you sailed out to look for Pinocchio? A monstro swallowed you? Well, it was worth it, because I found my son. But now you can't get out, can you? Must be awful being stuck inside Monstro. Not if Pinocchio and I are together. I couldn't live without him. There's nothing better than being reunited with someone you care about. I feel the same way, Geppetto. I don't care if I'm trapped here, so long as I have Pinocchio. He's such a good boy. Well, he still tells fibs, but with a little help from me... Oh, Jiminy, you worry too much. Speaking of Pinocchio, where is he? He was here a minute ago! Where's he gone this time? I expect he's off exploring. That boy has been poking around in just about every square inch of Monstro. He won't tell me why it's so important. I tell him it's dangerous, but he won't listen. That puppet's a handful. Sora, if you don't mind... I know, I know. You want us to help you find him, right? Come on, guys. Let's get going. Alright. We get the key of guidance. Nice. And we're back in the main room, and the door mysteriously disappeared. That's cool. Oh. And more stuff spawns in... these. Yeah. Aw. No extra cards, but that's alright. Alright, let's continue on. We need a one-value card. We are using our Calm Bounty, which will basically make a small room with no Heartless in it, and instead we get a treasure chest, which will have a special ability every time you open it for the first time in a world. We learned Fire Raid. That's a really good slate, and that is why I <laughs> actually came to Monstro first, is this. So what we're going to do is we're going to reorder some stuff. So we've got Fire right here. I'm going to swap those two. And swap those two. So now when I start the round, I'm going to have a fire and I'll be able to perform the fire raid. Fire raid, basically you throw your keyblade and it'll deal fire damage to everybody in front of you. It requires a fire card followed by two attack cards. Of any value. It's really good. Like, it might not sound very good, but trust me, it's really good. Especially once we get more fire cards. Oh, it's going to make battles a lot easier. Alright. Come on, thank you. Let's see. Let's go this way. Negative value 7 or higher. Well, we got two Feeble Darkness level 8s. If you have duplicate cards, it's nice to use those. Because eventually, later on in the game, you'll encounter doors which need an exact value card to open them. Alright, watch this. That just insta-killed that large body. And also because it's Feeble Darkness, these tornado steps will have a harder time breaking our cards. And in hindsight, I probably should have let more enemies spawn before using Fire Raid. Yeah, let's time this just right, and we can hit three of them and instantly kill three shadows. And these are green Requiems. Don't use magic on them at all, or else uh, it'll, they'll get healed. And those are yellow Operas. They cast lightning. Green Requiems you want to get rid of as soon as possible, because they can heal other enemies. I hope I can find more fire cards hanging around here somewhere. Oh, I also forgot. I need to use my red Nocturne card. More CP! More CP! Yeah, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna start by equipping my... 
red Nocturne card, which will actually increase the damage I deal with Fire Raid. And it lasts for one reload. So next time I reload my deck, uh, the effect will wear off. You can also only have one enemy effect in, uh, enemy card in effect at a time. Large bodies, if they make earthquakes, just jump in the air to avoid damage. And you gotta hit them in the back, otherwise they take no damage. Another Calm Bounty, yes. So yeah, that actually recovered their HP, but they weren't missing. Oh, actually, we're encountering lag, that's interesting. Generally, you encounter lag if there's a lot of experience points bouncing around the screen. And remember, the later you deal with Monstro, the more HP these guys are going to have. Oh, Moogle Room! Yes! Moogle Rooms are another great uh, room. Woot! Alright, now we need to put as many cards down as it takes to fulfill the 15 requirement. So basically, play some high-value cards. So, let's see. Alchemic Waking, I forgot to mention this. Basically, if you use Alchemic Waking, it makes an average room with average enemies, and then your item cards will have higher value. Not a very good one. I am going to, let's see, use eight card there. Now we need a seven card here. We'll use another Feeble Darkness, followed by the Key of Guidance. Hey, Pinocchio, what up? Oh! Pinocchio, you naughty boy! You know Geppetto worries when you wander off by yourself. Jiminy was worried too! I'm sorry. What are you doing anyway? Looking for something? Um, yeah, I'm looking for treasure! Here we go again! But Jiminy... Now don't be so hard on the little fella, Jiminy! We promise not to get mad, Pinocchio. Is that why you're afraid to tell? No need to fret. Tell us the truth. We'll understand. Put your trust in Goofy. I was looking for a way out. Father says he's happy, but it's my fault we're stuck here. I shouldn't have run away from home. I want to help Father get home from to the workshop. But he'll worry if I tell him what I'm doing. I get it. So that's why you had to lie. You did it because you love your dad. All you need now is courage. What? Tell Geppetto the truth. With a little courage, you can do it. If you tell him how you really feel, I bet he'll help you find a way out. And we'll give you a hand. Really? You'll help us? Okay, I'll give it a try. Wish me luck, Jiminy. No more keeping secrets, then. Have we got a deal? Sure, I'll be brave and tell Father how I really feel. No lies this time. Great, then your nose won't... What's happening? I got a bad feeling about this. Pinocchio, run for it! Pinocchio, where are you? Help! I'm trapped! What? Yeah, we're actually fighting the boss now. This is the Parasite Cage. You probably remember him from the first game. He's even harder now because we have to wait for these rafts to be in the right place. Oh, are you kidding me? The platform sank and thus it interrupted my attack. Yeah, he, this is an actually a really tough boss. He even has more than one entire HP bar all to himself. Ouch. It's just, whenever you touch the acid, Thank you, Donald. Yeah, every time you touch the acid, you take a little bit of damage, and it interrupts your attack, which is really irritating. And he has some high-valued cards to use. Oh boy, I'm so I'm so mad at, uh, that I wasted my thunder raid or my fire raid without actually hitting him, because because the fire is what. 
need to start the slate, you lose it after you use it once in the battle. So just keep hop- try to stay on the platform, and don't be afraid to jump back counter uh, counterclockwise onto the previous platform! Also, try to interrupt his attacks with your own. And don't be afraid to jump away like that, if possible. Oh great, and now the platform's really tiny. There's a really useful Mickey Mouse card that can fall occasionally, but it has not done so thus far. Yeah, if this is your first time playing, I would not attempt Monstro first. I just really wanted Fire Raid as soon as possible. Oh, he was stunned there. I thought he was waiting to attack me. Alright. Take Goofy. Beat him up. You also have really high valued cards, especially compared to your own valued cards. Come on! It's like eights and fives, whereas I have like fours, threes, and twos. Oh, I was way out of range of that. I don't even know what you're talking about. Darn it, Donald got interrupted because I was touching the acid, which doesn't make sense. And he interrupted my heal. Great. I like using friend cards to start stocks and cards, because then it doesn't matter that you use them. Dunk on it! Yeah, this is not good. My lack of HP is actually really working against me here. Youch! That's no fair. I forgot he could do that. Oh, come on! There's no way he could have broken that. Thank goodness for that. Alright. Yeah, Parasite Cage is a tough boss regardless of when you do him. But especially if you do him first. <laughs> yeah, like every time you play a card, it's like, oh, card break. Oh, shook. Ouch. Ouch. Stock cards. Yeah, literally the frame you play a card, he will break card break it. Like next frame. Doesn't seem fair. I should have reorganized my deck a bit before attempting him. There we go! Now he's gone. I can't believe he never once dropped the Mickey Mouse card. If you use that, it basically makes it so you always have a platform underneath you and lets you walk on the acid. It's really useful. It's like what I'm doing now. And we get the Parasite Cage card. And a level up. Alright, we can level up HP now. I need a bit more, <laughs> as demonstrated by that boss fight. Help me! I'm scared! Pinocchio, be brave! How? Don't give up! Try fighting your way out! Be brave! Okay, I'll try! Well, that happened. Pinocchio, are you alright? Don't worry, I'm okay. Just a little sticky. But I have a great idea! The Heartless spit me out when I started struggling. Why don't we try the same thing with Monstro? Of course! If we're lucky, Monstro might cough us up. Great idea! Let's go deeper inside and try it! I'm going too! No, it's too dangerous. Aw, oh, come on! You should be with Geppetto. No use escaping from Monstro if you two get separated again. Leave this to us. I guess you're right. Be careful, everybody! Alright, don't do Monstro first. 
do not do Monstro first. <laughs> that boss fight was way harder than I expected. Oh, hey. It spits me out in this room, which I hadn't opened yet, so it gives me a normal room. Alright, well, you know what I'm going to do? So what you can do is, if you go to the world map, you can see which rooms are which. So this room behind me is the Calm Bounty. What you can actually do is strike rooms you've already opened, and then use a different card in order to basically reopen the room with new enemies and such. I'm going to reopen it for to a Moogle room. This basically will... this basically is like a shop screen. So there's the Moogle there. If we talk to him, we can buy new cards off of him. And we use our Moogle points to do that. Come on. There we go. Alright. The Moogle Shop is a Moogle establishment where you can trade in cards. Exchange cards you don't need anymore for Moogle points. Save up enough points and you can trade them in for a new card pack. You can get a free card pack the first time you visit the Moogle Shop. Here's a card pack for you, Koopo! Alright, alright, alright. Oh ho! Okay, that's a Wishing Star. That is a keyboy that you can get in Monstro. And you see it has a gold number next to it? That means it's a premium card. Premium cards are special in that they take way less CP to equip than regular cards. However, that also means that when you use them in battle, regardless of if you stock it first or not, anytime you use it, it just disappears until the next battle. So that makes it a great card to use at the start of a slate. But relying too much on premium cards will not be good for you. Alright, buy some card packs. I would love to buy a magic pack, because I really want more fire. Simba, Cure, Cure, Simba, Blizzard. Literally every possible card I could have gotten except the one I wanted. Well, that stinks. Maybe I can trade in some cards I don't need. I don't need any of my one value cards. Let's see, what else can I trade in? Probably don't really need that. No. That was a dud. But I, am, I don't really want to get rid of any more stuff than that. Gotta add more to my deck. I'm gonna add the premium card, the wishing star, as well as definitely these two sixes. And I might as well add the two threes as well. Might as well. A parasite Cage enemy card. Break an opponent's enemy card without fail. Occasionally you will encounter, like, bosses who can also use their own enemy cards. And that basically will break their enemy card ability that they have ac activated. Alrighty. Okay. I was really hoping to get another fire. But that is not the way the game worked. Alright, that's all the enemies in here cleared out. So yeah, you can see there's a special key card there that we have never seen before. That means the key to the rewards. In the room of rewards is essentially a room with a chest that has either a special one-of-a-kind card in there, or a special slate. So once you start getting room of uh, rewards cards... You can come back here and enter it to get the prize. That's going to take a while. I'm just going to go back to all these rooms. Hit all of the terrain, basically, to get all the drops possible. And then we're going to the last room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't believe that there was nothing inside. All right, we need a red card. Any red card. Let's do teeming darkness, followed by the key to truth. This can be. This is another fight, and it can be kind of tough. But, once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Looks like this is as far as we go. Ready then? Let's shake things up. It would be easier if we had someone to fight. Perfect timing. Looks like we've got company. So the way this fight works, you have an unlimited supply of shadows here. 
And you see that meter in the top left uh, right corner? That's Monstro's basically disturbance meter. The more enemies you can f destroy in a row, the higher the meter goes. If you go for a while without destroying enemies, the meter will start to fall. The goal is you need to fill up the meter. Once the meter is full, it cannot drop. The fact that Shadows can only use one card is really nice in this battle. The key is really just don't get held up on calling your friends like Donald and Goofy for help. They're, they're too slow. Focus on your attack cards. Also, Blizzard can be useful to hit multiple shadows all at once. Can. As the meter flashes red, that means it's starting to drop. There we go, flashing yellow. That means we've done it. Eventually, this harvest will stop spawning, and if your meter's full, you will pass and leave the world. Otherwise, you'll have to do the fight again. And for our rewards, we get Dumbo. He's the next sum summon card. And thankfully, he's a little bit better in this than he was in the original Kingdom Hearts. Whew. What now? It's working! Monstro's gonna sneeze! Well, we didn't make it out. <laughs> I love Sora's eyes there. Ow. Now I know what getting shot out of a cannon feels like. Where's Pinocchio and his dad? They're gone. They must have gotten out safely. Without you, Jiminy? I thought there was no escaping your conscience. I don't mind being left behind, as long as they're both safe. Maybe Pinocchio doesn't need me after all. Are you kidding me, Jiminy? Did you see all of the dumb stuff he got into when he didn't listen to you in the movie? <laughs> what do you mean? That little puppet used to have trouble telling right from wrong. But he's come a long way. Maybe he doesn't need Jiminy Cricket anymore. Maybe he's better off without me nagging him all the time. Don't you remember what Geppetto said? There's nothing better than being reunited with someone you care about. I bet Pinocchio is counting the days till he can see you again. Well, what do you know? You might be right. How cheesy, but it's Kingdom Hearts, so you gotta expect that. Nothing in there. Alright. Well, that world went by a lot quicker than Trevor's Town. Less tutorials, don't you know? What is it, Goofy? It's that castle I mentioned earlier. I'm sure I didn't make it up. I found a YouTube videos of it. That was the castle where Sora used the Keyblade to free Kairi's heart. Then he disappeared for a while, remember? I'll never forget how worried I was. Oh yeah! When I turned into a Heartless! Wait, that happened in... a castle? You forgot? Well, I remember it perfectly. What was the castle called, then? Easy! It was... Hey, Jiminy, you wrote down everything that happened in your journal, right? No, but Artie Let's Played it, so I could just watch those videos. Every letter, I finished off the first volume right before we got to this castle. Let's see if I can find the old book. Ah, here it is. Let's have a look. But this is impossible! All of the entries have vanished! Every page blank! What? How could this happen? I take such good care of my journals! All that hard work, gone! What kind of a castle is this? <laughs> a creepy one! Let's help Jiminy rewrite the journal once we get out of the castle! Uh, my handwriting is terrible, and I, uh, I have arthritis. I actually don't know, but my hand cramps up something serious when I handwrite for a while. I don't think Jiminy would erase his own journal. Well, no, that doesn't make sense at all, Donald. 
Oh, hello. Oh, it's the girl who we saw drawing the picture of Castle Oblivion earlier. Interesting. Something funny's going on! How could everything Jiminy wrote vanish like that? Maybe it's not just stuff we write down. Goofy said we've been to some other castle, but I don't remember it at all. None of us really do. Maybe... Maybe we don't remember because those memories are gone. GONE?! Don't be ridiculous! Wait! Remember what that guy in the black hood said? In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. He was talking about memories! Well, that is the name of the game, Jiminy. So if we keep going, we'll lose our memories? No wonder they call it Castle Oblivion. So, the higher we go, the more we forget? What if we forget everything and can't get it back? I'd forget Riku and Kairi, too. Maybe we should turn back. I mean, we've got this convenient work point here. Don't worry. We might forget where we've been or what we saw, but we won't forget our friends. What makes you so sure? Sora, when you turned into a Heartless, did you forget about us? Of course not! I never forget you! Well, see? There you go. No matter what happens, you won't forget your friends. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Goofy. I guess there's nothing to be scared of after all. So let's go! Hey, Donald, back when I was a Heartless, who was the one who clobbered me? Hmm? THAT'S WHAT YOU SHOULD BE FORGETTING! <laughs> <laughs> Donald beat Sora up when he was a Heartless. There's no way we could ever forget our friends! Okay, Goofy, now you're just tempting fate. <laughs> if you're still remembering the silly stuff, we'll be fine. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Bam! Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Arty. Tune in next time, we'll be heading to a brand new world, one of the four we have left, and hopefully we'll have a bit e of an easier time with it than we did with the Parasite Cage. Hope to see you then, until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.